Hello, hello, Edward Oliver here. This is the Dini Tip of the Week, and today we'll be talking about how to apply the same thing to all pages at once on your Dini website. This conversation I saw on the Facebook user group started by Taiko the Ward. I hope that I got your name properly, Taiko. And he was talking about how that could be done. How can you do at once apply the same thing to an entire DNN website. And I hope that I'm going to cover that, maybe not in one step, but in two steps. That's it. Hope you like it. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them, I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from Manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so you want to change the skin of all the pages on the DNA site at the same time. Well, at the same time with one single action, it will be a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna show how to do that with two actions. First, I'm gonna show you this DNN site here that has two skins, two themes loaded into it. The default theme that comes with DNN and DNN Contra, which is a free skin created by Jeff Barlow. So I have both of them installed. Here you can see the home page the default DNN theme is loaded. Product page, there is a different layout. So this is the DNN Contra theme. And then you have service, and then it goes back to the default theme. So let's say that I want to set all pages of my DNN site that should have this layout, should be applied the DNN Contra theme. First thing that I need to explain is where do I set the def default theme for a DNN website in DNN 9. So we have to go here to manage and then let's go to themes. Under themes, we're gonna see down here all the different theme packages that are available in this DNN instance. So Cilion is the default DNN theme and then I installed already DNN Contra. So as you can see, Exilion is the default one and from this theme package, at the top here, you can see the default layouts that are selected for the website. See, inner is set as the site, this S means site, and admin is set as the edit theme to be used. The edit skin used to be more useful in the past, but today, to be honest, it's not really that relevant. We're gonna focus on the site layout, which is the layout with the S. You can change that, you can change, let's say, if I want home, this layout variation to be set as the default for the site, I can click on set site layout and it will change just like that. This is the default. Now, here's what I want to show. If I want to make DNN Contra the default through the site, I can apply DNN Contra, it will ask for a confirmation, I will confirm, and then I have to apply the site, which one of those five layouts I want to be the default site layout. I'm gonna say, I want this skin here, this one called skin. I want it to be set as the site layout, the default site layout. So this is done. There's no save here. I can just click outside. And now if I go to some of the pages, you see services now, it shows the DNA control layout. If I can go to other pages, it shows as well. Now let, let me go back to home here. See home does not show the DNA control layout. Why? Because on the home page of the site, there is a definition of which theme should be used by this page. So the admin level default theme is not overwriting 
the, the page level thing that is defined here on the home page. I'm going to go to edit this page and I'm going to go to page settings. Then you're going to see if I go to advanced appearance, you see there is a selected theme and a selected layout for this page. So this information you see right now in front of you is overwriting the site default theme. You see right here, the in contra is set as the site default. So what is it that you need to do to ensure that this change on the site level theme, default theme, gets applied to each and every page of the site, regardless whether there is a, a page level selection of which theme to use or not. How can you do that at once? Well, we have to do a little bit of SQL scripting. So you're going to have to go here to settings and then SQL console. From here, we're going to use this script to update all tabs and by tabs, this really means pages. I'm going to set the skin source to null, to empty, to all pages on this portal. How do you know the portal ID? Well, usually by default it's zero, but you can check that and I'm going to close this. You can check that under manage sites and then you're going to see you may or may not see different sites here. If you just have one, you just have to see the site ID in this case zero. And this is the number that you're going to be using. If you have a different number, use that instead. So let's go back there to SQL console. We still have our code there. Just use this and adjust the port ID. Now, very important. We are messing around with the data directly. I don't recommend that to be done lightly because if you do something wrong here, you may be affected more than what you want. So I would recommend that you back up your site and database as well. Use it on your own. I'm not responsible if, uh, if you do something wrong with that. But this script, what it will do is it will clean all the theme definition that may or may not have been selected for different pages. This will set everything to null. It will clear everything. And from that point on, each and every page on this portal, on this DNN site, will be using the theme that has been selected as the default for the entire site. And I'm going to execute this just I can show you that. Now, this is a change to database. Sometimes database information is cached. So you should also go here to servers, you should clear cache. And I would also recommend start application. Now, here's what we'll see. Homepage hasn't changed. But let me refresh this. As you can see, homepage has changed as well. Because now as I said before, all the theme definitions throughout all pages on the site have been set to empty. And they are all using now the default theme set on the site level. So this is it in two steps. First, you define what is the default theme for the site. And then you go to SQL console and you reset all the theme definitions for all the pages. In two steps, you can get that all done at once, regardless of how many pages you have on your DNN website. That's it. Thank you very much. Bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.